That team to the face looked pretty dangerous, didn't it? Yeah. That's, and I mean, with, with, with the length of his legs, I mean, you know, he can really use that to his advantage. From the other side of the cage. Uh, from the other side of the cage, or maybe if he was actually in the changing room. Helen Garnett. Helen has been an inspiration to fighters in the world of Muay Thai and martial arts. Retiring undefeated with an impressive fight career and fight record, I managed to get an exclusive interview from Helen at United Masters Cage Confrontation 7 in York. And here's what she had to say. Okay, I'm here with the one and only. Helen Garnett. Helen, how are you doing? I'm all right. How are you, Ed? I'm fine, thank you. Helen's been here now uh, at, at the cage confrontation. Um, how many times have you been here now, Helen? I think this is either my fourth or fifth time. That's excellent, doing the commentary. Thank you. Right, just tell us a little bit about yourself. You're retired, okay? You know, you're going to be sadly missed. You know, I saw all the comments and we want you back. And just recently, I made a comment about bringing fight girl, well, having more female fighters on, on shows like this, or even in, in, the, in the ring. And someone made a comment about their famous fight, which was Tony Dias. He says, you know, he wants you back. How do you feel about that? Well, the thing is, is, you know, a lot of people have, you know, a lot of my friends and things have said, yeah, they think I've got one fight left in me. But um, I'm not listening to it. I'm not buying into it. Um, no, I think, I've, I think if, if before I'd have made my decision to retire and they would have said, then I might have been swayed. But um, I've kind of, I've made my decision and, and then I'm going to stand by it. Excellent. Now, for those of you watching who, who's not sure who Helen is, Helen, just tell those out there who you are and what titles you've got. Um, I fight out of uh, Wicker Camp in Sheffield. I, um, I have retired as British number one. Um, I have a British title, European and two world titles. That's fantastic. You know, you're giving up all that, you've still got a fight in you. Do you think you'll come back? No. I've told my mum now that I'm not, I've retired, and I trust me, she's the only woman I've ever feared, so no, I'm not coming back. But it's just a little bit too scrappy, they seem to be getting drawn in at the minute and, and headhunting. As, as you say that, it's, it's interesting that he's not used that team more, because he actually dropped him at the very second yeah. of the first round, yeah. and then he's yeah. not, I don't think he's thrown it again. No, he's not, no. If you if you look at the the last cage confrontations, you know that tone is had. I think with with each one they're getting better and better. And you know, coming from a Thai boxing background and not really knowing a lot about MMA, I think that the, the MMA that I've I've seen have been really you know kind of taken aback, you know, by by the standard of it. You know, these guys are you know are right up there. And I think you know Tony and and, and Gaz are putting on fantastic shows. So you know, people out there who maybe don't know a lot about MMA come to one of these shows, you know, and they're going to see really good quality fights. That's fantastic. So I hope you're listening there, because it's opened your eyes a little bit, hasn't it, Helen? I know that you're from a Muay Thai background, but how has it opened your eyes in respect to us from, like, say, kicking low kicks as in compared to the grappling and understanding what it all means? I think what kind of, you know, like, opened my eyes was the fact that I didn't realise there was so much going off when it was on the floor. Um, you know, if, if you don't understand about something, then you really don't know, you know, and obviously being so close to the cage, you can see things happening before your eyes, and you don't realise, to a lot of people, they look like they're just rolling about on the floor, there's a lot of things happening, trying to position people, you know, trying to get holds on people, and, it, and, it's, and it's really technical and really, really skillful. That's fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have it, Helen Garnett, hopefully we'll get her back. <laughs> Back in the cage. Hello, thank you very much. Thank you, Ed. Thank you so much. Thank you.
I've had the pleasure of working with Helen as part of a great team on many occasions and she's been such a great person to work with. She will be sadly missed as a fighter but will still play a huge part in the martial arts world with her knowledge and expertise. Wishing you all the best and happiness for the future Helen.